हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू साइंस फॉर ऑल हाउ टू मेजर टाइम ऑफ कोर्स बाय मींस ऑफ क्लॉक इमेजिन यू डोंट हैव एनी डिवाइस टू टेल टाइम बट स्टिल यू नीड टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ इट द पॉसिबल और ओनली वे टू मेजर पैसेज ऑफ टाइम इज टू फाइंड सम चेंज इन नेचर एंड काउंट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट हैपन्स एंड वन सच थिंग नेटिव बाय प्रिमेटिव ह्यूमन्स मस्ट विद द अट्रैक्शन ऑफ डे एंड नाइट पीपल कैन थर्स से वी मेट टूडे नो नो टूमोरो येस्टडे आई इट अ फिश थ्री डेज अ गो Now what about time interval less than a day long it was told by sun's position in sky during daytime sunrise when sun appear on eastern horizon morning when it is still rising noon when it is highest in sky afternoon when it is declining in sky sunset when it appears at western horizon so what about night it was major by billions of billion star in the night sky it was difficult but people who work at night major passage of time by position of star were their way about the sky but we want to measure time more finely the problem with measuring time with sun was that you have to look directly at sun which caused blindness so man need a way to measure a time without looking at sun the solution is so simple sun cast a shadow and if you drive a stick into the ground the stick will cast shadow dawn when the shadow is longest and point west direction noon when the shadow is approximately a point and dusk when the shadow is longest and points towards east direction these lead to creation of sundials mark when made on sundials called hours greek word for time of day such sundials were made in egypt about 5000 bc but sundials work only in egypt because it was always sunny but what about other regions what if sky was cloudy then sundials completely fails so solution was that burn a candle made of some fixed material and of sandal size a certain length will burn say 10 minutes or and send it from upper to lower chamber through narrow opening a certain amount of sand passes means 1 hour this device were also portable and not depend on light but they have drawbacks candle could burn depending on amount of air current also different candle and could burn at different rates so it could be used to measure time only after it's get empty completely the best clock in ancient time was clepsydra or water clock clock is a french word meaning bell what dro- water drop through a narrow hole from a top chamber to a bottom one water clocks were found only as 1400 bc and 200 bc a continuous flow of water running into upper chamber made it more accurate with an overflow in this way the upper chamber remained with same amount of water and the rate of drip did not change with time water clock were fitted with floats that supported pointer that rose with the water level in the lower chamber the pointer thus automatically indicated the number of each hour water clock were messy and eventually water spill out and had to be mopped so in the middle ages gravity clock were used which we will talk next time thank you for watching our video subscribe our channel